the Brasodi Brothers auction house? Seems it. Private Kleiner, you're on duty. Need I remind you? Fraternizing with civilians is not allowed. Purpose of your visit? Any of the owners home? Meaning the one and sole owner, the esteemed host Besodi? Aye, he is. Need to talk to him. Order 76 CWX is clear. Auctions only open to folk with invitations. Writ out in their names, plain and simple. Gonna let that hold you back? Come on. Afraid you're out of luck. Order 76 CWX also held that Lance Corporal Vatslav stick a broomstick up his ass. Kleiner, need I remind you of the penalty for insulting a superior? What? Who do I spy? Geralt? Geralt of Rivia? In the flesh. How long's it been, Vimy? Usury still your passion and profession? I prefer the term savings and loan banking. But all in all, aye, that's how my preference lies. What's all the fash, Corporal Václav? Are you squabbling with my pal Geralt? Master Vivaldi, sir, your esteemed associate, he weren't invited to the auction, and I've... But I plow and have been, and he's coming with me. In you go, Geralt. But my orders... Back your orders. Need I take this up with the sergeant? Ha, I thought not. No, stand to attention. Shut your giggy. Oh, the lads will be rolling back at the barracks. Suck it! Now march! Round you go! One, two, one, two! Appreciate the help. Good night. Always had a mind to see into old pals and clients. Business with you's a pure pleasure, Vimy. The dear departed wifey claimed the same. Mm. Ah-ha! Folk are assembling. Auction's about to start. Time we went upstairs. Actually, I'm really just here to talk to Horst Borsodi. Oh, might be more of a problem than you'd expect. Because? An awful hermit, that one. Not a wee bit like his da, my little I keep his soul. But... Horst would like to show his heed during the auction. I'll introduce you to him. Be mighty indebted to you. Think nothing of it. Only have a collect on loans and promissory notes. <laughs> All right, up we go. Geralt, you thought of buying real estate? Could get you attractive terms on a mortgage. No such thing as attractive loan terms, Vimy. What about in Kaviri Marks? Come on. You know damn hmm. well that makes no auction sense. Won't start for a time yet, it seems. Vimy, this is a banquet. Aye, and? I detest banquets. Vacuous conversation, food portions fit for a mouse, drinks that taste like piss. Ah, it won't all be bad. Let me introduce you to some of my most interesting associates. Old hand there is Countess Mignol. Wager you'll have plenty to blather about with her. <laughs> Prick in the corners, Hilbert. New coin, that one. Came into a right fortune playing quiet. Ah, there's Yaramir, art dealer. A purer snob I've never known. But he knows paintings like no other. So, ready to chat someone up? It's not fitting for us to stand here like knobs. <sighs> oh, smell it, Geralt. That's the scent of coin. Yaramir, uh, might we trouble you we spare? Mm -hmm. Greetings, Vivaldi. Who's this? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. I thought you might have a blather with us. About the paintings on the block today. Hmm? Ah, sniffing for a quick turnaround as usual, are we? Pot calling the kettle black, I'd say. Do a lively trade in canvases yourself, my friend. True. Yet first they delight my eyes, whereas you treat them as mere promissory notes. The only arts that interest you are those culinary. What about you, Witcher? Do you know anything about paintings? Realize this might be hard to believe, given my crude-looking mug. But yeah, 
I know a thing or two. Truly? We ought to see what. Do you know our friend Vivaldi is in possession of five canvases by Van der Nobe? Yet he cannot distinguish them from landscapes at five crowns apiece. I shan't pretend it's otherwise. Yet for you, my dear connoisseur Witcher, that should present not the slightest problem, so do tell which of these is the handiwork of Edward Van der Nobe, the master from Maribor. Pastoral scene, I think. Incorrect. But I suppose I might have expected your gaze to look homewards to the country. Adieu. What a jackass. Yeah, fuck him. Typical Arista cunt. I've grown accustomed. Funny. Do you claim greetings to the Honorable Countess? Madam, allow me to introduce my dear friend, Geralt of Rivia. Witcher of the School of the Wolf. Forgive me, but have we had the pleasure? No, but your guild is unmistakable. Your medallion. Take note, Geralt. Countess Mignol is an eminent collector of Vitaminaica. Vitamin... what now? All manner of objects related to the witcherly profession. Swords, gear, medallions. Mind if I ask how the Countess became interested in us, humble monster slayers? I've some pleasant associations, dating from my oh-so-distant youth. Didn't you say such things, Countess? You look right fetching to me. That's very kind, Master Vivaldi. But apart from my Vedomaniaca, I also own a number of mirrors. Your most prized piece? What would it be? An armor element. An antique. School of the Wolf. From 1234. Classic. Is it up for sale? I fear not. It's a memento. One of great sentimental value. But perhaps the Countess has got other Witcher curios she's willing to part with. Or acquire. Uh, perhaps she could trade. I'd charge 5%. A modest uh, uh, transaction fee. Vimy, never seen anyone so good at laying their mitts on coin that clinked within earshot. But what the hell? See if we can't make a deal. Does the Countess have her eye on anything particular today? No, but Horse Borsodi insisted he would put up something that would be of interest. Did he happen to say what it was? No. Oh, you know what he's like. A walking enigma. On another topic, Master Geralt, I was wondering if you'd be willing to help a lady in need. Depends on the nature of the need. Oh, it's quite the trifle. I stepped out onto the balcony a moment ago. I dropped an earring while there. I couldn't find it. It must have fallen through the floorboards. Perhaps you, with your cat eyes. Not a problem. I'll go right away. I shall be much obliged. See you in a minute, Bimmy. These contemporaries. I simply don't understand their mm. Some spilled wine, nothing else. Mm. <laughs> the 
There's no earring out here, is there? None. Maybe the Countess would care to explain what this is about, all jokes aside. Forgive me. I... God, this is so embarrassing. Do... Do you know Vesemir? He was a tin shorter than you, wore a mustache. Do I know him? Man taught me everything I know. What? How is he, if you don't mind my asking? Don't mind at all. But before I answer, I also wouldn't mind knowing how you knew each other. Oh, I've told no one. Not ever. But I suppose I owe you an explanation. It was the winter of 1234. A beast prowled the streets of Oxenford. A fledder, I believe. A contract was issued, a notice posted, and a witcher appeared. Vesemir, of the School of the Wolf. He came through our estate, tracking the beast. Our eyes met, something sparked. I wrote him a message, asked my governess to deliver it. He visited, under the cover of night, night after night. On one such occasion, my father heard something. Vesemir had to flee. So quickly, he left behind his gambeson. Ah, the first piece. The start of your collection. Yes. But also the end of our love. Father had an arrest warrant issued. Then quickly married me off. I was fortunate. My husband died young, leaving me a sizable fortune. And thus, I have lived on memories. I'm afraid I have bad news. Oh? Please tell me. Did he at least die like a witcher? No. He died like a hero. There is that. I thank you for tolerating a decrepit madwoman so elegantly. Please don't say that. I am old, and I am wealthy. I may say what I please. And now, be so kind and leave me to my thoughts. to introduce you, Geralt of Rivia. Enchanted. Pleasure's all mine. How's it? Got your eye on any sparkly bits today? Not really. I buy what strikes me fancy. I need something right sumptuous for me walls just now. Nilfgaard. I get it right? Excuse me? Your Gwent deck. It's Nilfgaard, isn't it? Come on, admit it. Not a bad deck, Nilfgaard. But I'll take the Northern Realms over it any day. Ah, understood. A patriot. You ought to know, Helbert. Geralt here's a positively superb player. Superb. Hmm. We got a minute before the auction starts, so nudge, nudge, wink, wink. We may be around. Sorry. Another time, maybe. Hmm. It is what it is. I'm off for a nosh. By the by. Watch those little black balls. Strange, them. Ah, to span the caviar of the Kaviri sturgeon. They're casting pearls before swine. Come, Geralt. Let's have a blather with another. Esteemed ladies, honorable gentlemen, the auction will begin shortly. Take your places, please. Ah, long last. Come with me to the fore. You won't see much elseways. Listen, forgot to ask you, how's this auction going to work? They'll bring out three lots to start with. Once they've sold, or not, there'll be an intermission. 
Horst Masodi will probably appear then. That's when I'll introduce you. Counting on it. In the meantime, have you got a budget? You prepared to beg? If you think you can spot me a couple hundred? Of course, pal, and at a very favorable rate of interest. Just one crown on ten when you pay me back. Here, what to do you for a bit of dapper? Happy hunting to you! Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I hereby open the auction. Ladies and gentlemen, lot number one is a brass figurine from the collection of the infamous Count Romilly. Rumour has it the figure harbours a treasure inside. A rumour one may prove or disprove solely by destroying the beautiful bauble itself. Starting price? Quite the bargain at 50 crowns. Any advance? With Master Hilbert at 100. To Countess Mignol, now at 150. Do I hear 200? Might I have an advance? Going once? Twice? Going thrice? The Honourable Yaramir enters a bid of 300. Any advance on three? 300 going. Countess Mignol at 350 going once, twice. Lot number one, the mysterious brass figurine, sold to Countess Mignol. Proceeding now to lot number two. A canvas by the young Novigrad artist Van Roe, Starry Night over the Pontar. Charming piece. Truly a bargain at... 20 crowns. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 crowns, it's practically naught. Yes, the gentleman with the cat eyes, at 20. Do I hear 30? 20 going once, going twice, going thrice. Sold! Van Rose starry night over the Pontar to the gentleman with the cat eyes. Lot number three, ladies and gentlemen. A true rarity, scarce as hen's teeth. Spectacle. A frame of gold, mountain crystal lenses polished by the tiny dexterous hands of the gnome masters, once the property of the famed hired assassin known as the Professor. Starting price of 200 crowns. Anyone tempted? Gwent Maestro Hilbert offers an advance of 50. Do I have three? My, haven't we livened up? 300 from Yaramir Ivanovich Zaitsev. Going once, twice. <coughs> Brilliant. With the gentleman with the white hair now at 350. What? I didn't. 350 once, 350 twice, and three, four, 400 now with Countess Mignol. Any advance on that? Going once, twice, thrice, and sold. The professor's spectacles go to the Countess. Oh, the excitement. With the three lots behind us, we'll go to an intermission. Amenities abound, please partake. We'll resume shortly. Oh, Geralt, look, Horst Masoudi. Come on, before some other cocksucker steal him. Just, well, don't expect a warm welcome. Greetings, Horst. Allow me to introduce a dear friend and associate, Geralt of Rivia, who comes uninvited. But you've gained by my presence. Dropped a hefty pile of crowns here. I'm not like Vivaldi. Profit alone only goes so far for me. I seek more. The auction house is primarily a meeting place for the local elite. I needn't tell you. An itinerant mutant doesn't quite fit in. <laughs> Got the distinct impression the two of you started off on the wrong foot. Perhaps we should raise a toast to... What's one like you want from one like me? Right, let's dispense with the niceties. Maximilian Borsotti's house. Gotta lay my hands on it, whatever it... What? Where did you learn of it? Gentlemen, no reason to lose our composure. Raise our voices. <laughs> I ask you, where did you learn of it? Whoa, come on now. Where? From Olgierd von Everek. Name mean anything to you? It does. Guards, 
Escort the Witcher out. And he's not to enter, not alone, not hand in hand with Hierarch Hemelfart. Honestly, he asked a question. It were a simple inquiry. One more word, and I shall move my accounts to the competition. Sorry, mate, but... No reason to trouble the guards, Horst. I'll go willingly. I don't recall giving you a choice in the matter. Kick his swiving mutated ass out. Your swords, Master. Law says we're to return them. Law don't say when, though. So we'll do it, aye. Just after we beat the singing shite out of the honorable gentleman. Mm-hmm. Gathering place for the elite, truly. Come on, lads. Let's loosen our muscles a bit. Law says if you see someone hurt, you should summon a medic. Law doesn't say how fast, though, so you can sit tight a while. Seems true what they say. Sword or no sword, a witcher brings gold. Not in the mood for your peasant wisdom. Who the hell are you? If all goes well, dare say I'm your partner. Don't need any partners. Oh, I don't know about that. No chance you'll lay your hands on Max Bosodi's house alone. Hmm. How do you know I was looking for the house? I was at the auction. Disguised, of course. That argument on the topic was hard to miss. Get to the point, if you can. To get this house, you need to get into the vault. And there's no way Horst will let you in there out of the kindness of his heart. A heist? Don't like that idea one bit. Got any others? Find the herbalist lives near Oxenfurt. Ask for some yarrow extract. You'll know why you've come. If this is a trap of some sort. Be seeing you. I hope. Ribs. It was being hunted. Something went horribly wrong, though. Come on, Roach. Come on, come closer. 
Huh. That was rather efficient. That all you got to say? I saved your life. Pfft. We'd have disposed of that rabble easily. We? My, aren't we precise? You know what I mean. Now, are you here to trade or not, hmm? Wouldn't happen to have some yarrow extract. I do. In the back. Follow me, please. Come. Good. Remains to be seen. Aim to tell me something, I think. So talk. How do I put this? We share a goal. We both need to get into the Borsodi's vault. Both want something that's in there. Why not pool our strengths? Sorry, but what exactly is yours? I have a plan. Spent the last year working on it. On paper. Time to set it in motion. You one I can count on. Come on. I don't even know your name. What's that matter? Matters because you're clearly hiding something. Not just from me, either. Wouldn't be sitting in a cellar in this shit hole otherwise. We've all some stain on our conscience. But I've not asked for your hand in marriage. Just for your help in a heist. We break in. Each take what we need, then go our own ways. Try to trick me any way, anyhow. You won't go anywhere, you know that? Because I'll take your head off right where it meets your neck. I'm aware of the risks. So, now that you've threatened me and all, are you in? Or are you not? Before we go any further, you even know what Max Brasotti's house is? I know it's in the vault. Didn't answer my question. Neither of you. Willing to help with the heist or not? The vault. What's in there for you? Something that was stolen from me. Mm. Ought I go to the city watch, tell them a crime's been committed, not organize a heist? I've tried. Repeatedly. I see. Cheated by the system, wronged by the world. Doesn't matter. What did they take? List to take a good while. So I'd rather change the subject. You in or not? I'm not a thief. It's opportunity makes the thief, Witcher. I speak from experience. <sighs> Talk. Twenty Redanian soldiers guard the auction house, day and night. Patrols walk in circles around it, and here, past this corner, barracks. Brute force is out. Gotta get in quietly. Exactly. Not the simplest thing, though. Main entrance, armored door, windows, dimeridian bars. But not a fortress out there without a weakness. This one's no different. Patience happens to be my weakness, so dispense with the dramatic pauses and talk. <clears throat> Beside the house stands a tower from which we can enter the attic. We can't hope to enter the tower from the street on account of the patrols, but there's a window 60 feet off the ground. No shutters, no bars. We've got to get up there and sneak across to the auction house, then down the stairs to the cellar, crack open or blow off the vault door, and voila! Looks bleak to me. Tower walls smooth as glass. Don't know about you, but I can't scale that and... And I've not asked you to. Let me finish. For this to work, we need two more accomplices. One to scale the tower and drop us a line. The other to open the vault. A safe cracker, but a demolition specialist. I've already identified some promising candidates. All we have to do is select and recruit the best among them. Also your job. I'd, uh, prefer to remain largely out of sight. Mm-hmm. Assumed as much given your hood. Anything else? Aye. But that's among the details. Which you will learn just as soon as you declare. <sighs> Don't really have any other options. So be it. I'm in. 
but on one condition, no one dies. That clear? That's the great son of Nilfgaard. How about we knock back around? Talk some mutually beneficial relationship. Rather get to work. What comes first? First, you have to assemble a crew. Then, there's the Redanian patrols to cull a bit. Too many wandering around. We could get noticed. Break-in artists. Tell me about them. Assuming lack of vertigo to be the first requirement. <laughs> Precisely why my favorite is Eveline Gallo. A circus artist known better as Björn. Just now performing with her troupe somewhere near Oxenfurt. Her specialities, rhythmic gymnastics. Breaking and entering. Not officially, no, but I've compared the route her troops taken with a list of the most audacious thefts in recent years. A perfect match. I would doubt that's a coincidence. But if she's reluctant, we've another option in Hugo Hoff, alias Beef Patty. A halfling. Think he's fit? Pudgy face doesn't really match my image of a criminal. You'd be surprised. Hugo's notched up more break-ins than you felled monsters. More importantly, two years past, he nicked the gold-plated cop from the roof of the town all in Nova. So, the half now. Word has it, he's holed up in Oxenfurt, in a house near the Novigrad Gate. Be careful. He's modest in size, but apparently wicked dangerous. All right, opening the vault. Who do we have? Let's start with the fact that one of them's a dwarf. Casimir Bassi, native of Mahakam. A specialist in controlled explosions. Folks say he could blow Novigrad to the high heavens with but a pinch of salt, Peter. Bolt door for him should be a cinch. The problem is, Casimir apparently hung up his detonators some time ago. He married, sired some littler ones, and settled in the village of Almas. My plane turns down. Any options? Quinto, the North's most famed safecracker. Arrest warrants out on him in Kedwin, Lyria, Angrin, and Kavir. Sadly, he got nabbed a few days back by one Hans of Sidaris, a prick mercenary. As far as I know, his troops made camp east of Oxenfurt on the right bank of the Pontar. Hmm. So I'd have to rip one from his cozy home, the other from a cozy cage. Need to think about it. What's this about culling the patrols? Told you, no one dies. Easy. I don't want anyone's death. Just need some folk to be temporarily indisposed. Spit it out. You got to approach the garrison's cook. Convince him to spite the soldier's nosh with something to keep some of them bedridden. One in two, I say. But what to bear his suspicions? the formula for a potion that might do the trick. There. See? Brew up a bit of that. Hit the town, find the cook, then convince him to do you a favor. I don't know, cast a spell, toss him some coin. You could also use your fists. All right, I'm off. Got a bit to do. As do I. Get it all done, and we'll meet back here. What then? Then, we'll bug a horse up. Down and sideways, all together.
to Casimir. Toss aside the torch, it guards. Ah! Piss off, then! Fuck off! You'll not tell me what to do! What? What's going on here? In deep play, Master Casimir sat upon his roof. Claims he'll blow himself to bits. What the wind's pearls, silks, satins, and how the fuck she repaid me? Made me a heat banger cuckold! Huh. A falling out in the family? Aye. His Euphemia. She were fine. Pretty as a picture, you might say. And five bairns they has. On the short side, but so well mannered. Always bow. Ask after your health. Not at all grumpy like the Elderman's laddies. Till the day Euphemia bundled up her belongings and their bairns, tossed them all on a wagon. And that's all we've seen of her. Master Casimir's been pure yampy since. Balling, whinging. Now this. Ah, this'll be one for the plowing annals. Going out with a bang. When this fucking blows, they'll see the fires in Novigrad! I'll try to talk some sense into him. But if he should grow angered... The wench demanded a canopied bed and got it. Silver tableware, she said. Got that too. Lacking nothing. Not a thing. What the fuck else was I to give her? Doubt he can grow any angrier. Hail military, our hallowed mother. Keep us from evil. What kind of knob you got? Lightly come to poke my Euphemia, eh? Well, you're late. She's gone. No, I just... Postmaster said the same. Denied it all. Swore on the balls of his gods. And the Egypt I am, I believe the bugger. Three years they bumped about under my nose. Then ran off. My granda told it right. Not a bloke out there doesn't want to get between a dwarf wench's trotters. Get down. Now. What? Oh. Coming. I'm coming. So, uh... What is it you wanted? Want you to open a door. Permanently. So it won't close again. I see. And what might you find on the other side of this door? A reward. Big one. To be split. Enough for everyone. If it come a week past, I'd have sent you the fuck away. But now, now I've nothing to lose. What's it I'm to do? Hut of the herbalist who lives near Oxenfurt. Go there and ask for yarrow extract. Learn all you need to know. Clear? As a Mahakaman Highland stream. See ya! Long limits. You'll choke to death on three pounds. Anyone in there? Blood. Hmm. This does 
not look good. Blood. Someone knocked their head on this beam. Open cut. Bare feet. Fresh prints. Sleeping with a fish. No two ways about it. Gotta find Eveline. The minute we're in trouble, you make me responsible for getting us out. As in Maribor. Remember Maribor? Dove, please don't change the subject. Mind if I do? That depends. Who might you be? Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. You Eveline Gallo? The Ermine? Only to friends. Calm down, Merrin. No need to puff up. And you? Talk. What do you want? Rather talk eye to eye. Eveline conceals nothing from me, and... And you were to help set up the benches. Immediately. Uh, but... Very well. Once again, what do you want? Got a job for you. Truly? Of what nature? Hmm. Anonymous performance. No audience. At a certain... Auction house. Pays as much as you can carry. Hmm. You've none of a Fink's features. But you see, I've a problem. All right, out with it. What's this problem? See, we were to do a show. The tickets have all sold. Alas, our friend and colleague, Hawkeye Van, well, he's gone blind. Drank some hooch from a questionable source. A sad story, but not the point. 
The crowd awaits. So either we find a replacement for him, or we shall have to return the coin. All good and fine, but we're not spent it already. Huh. I think I know where this is going. Then I shall get straight to the point. Stand in for Van, and I shall help you. What do I have to do? Jump through some flaming hoops? No. Shoot your crossbow, hit a target. Not a bad shot with my crossbow. Why not? I'm in. Splendid. So, shall we begin? Folk have grown nervous. What? Me now? No rehearsals? What's that to rehearse? You're to shoot and hit a target. All right. Do or die. Let's begin. That I like. A man who boldly dares damn the risks. Come! And now, good folk, the highlight of our program. Standing before you, Geralt of Rivia, victor of markmanship contest in Angren, Dol Blathana, and Lobinden. Wow, Bron! What? But I... Shh, Geralt, grab your crossbow and get to work. with an audacious feat by Geralt of Rivia. We thank you for attending and hope to see you soon. It's a shame that man didn't shoot the elf. That would have been brilliant. You know, I doubted I'd emerge from that ordeal in one piece. Fine work, Geralt. Well, one performance down. What of the next? Herbalist has a hut near here. Ring a bell? Go see him and ask for some yarrow extract. Ooh, a mystery. I adore mysteries. Till later, Witcher. there. Let me have a look. So long. Choked to death on three pounds of steel. Oh! 
What do you have to say? Lance Corporal Vatslav. How'd that prick wind up with us? Volunteered. Word is he had to bribe the medics to let him enlist. He mad or what? That's just it. Certifiably insane. Didn't pass the tests apparently. But to pay hard coin to enter the army. Thought at my age nothing could surprise me. Nothing about the cook. Say. That uh, Ost Gorsu. That uh, Ost You got a daughter? I do ask. Well, think on it. To marry into a dynasty like that, it'd be like living in Clover. Trust me, you do better not to take any interest in the Basordis. Why the hell not? It can only bring trouble, mate. Only trouble. Hmm. Nothing interesting. Say. Fish chowder for supper today. Is that true? Who told you? No one. Came through the western gate in the morning. Saw Martin on the pier, rod in hand, fishing. Cook like that's the right treasure he is. No griping about poor supplies. Just the a storm, damn it. Uh, aye. If only you'd go a bit lighter on the garlic. Pier near the western gate. Should be easy enough to find. Must be the cook. Good day. Fish biting? Aye, they're biting. What about you? What's that? Got this mixture. Pay you to pour it in the soup for the boys of the garrison, on my signal. Nothing dangerous about it. Most they'll think is that the fish wasn't exactly fresh. It'll cost you, mate. Something dear. Asking a lot, too much. How about you do this free of charge, huh? Out of the kindness of your heart. Aye, I'll help. Out of kindness. Wait for the signal, and mum's the word, understood? And mighty miss be amidst the unattached. I am, though only for a wee spell now. Is that so? Impossible. Only a fool would loosen their hold on a mate like you. Ah, at last, we're all here. Time to begin. Let's heist. It's no jest. So if any of you has any doubts, isn't sure, now's the time to leave. Won't be able to after. The Borsodi's auction house, its vault. That's our target. Everline, you will enter through the tower when the patrol rounds this corner. Drop us a line. We have to be inside within five minutes, as I know. It's plenty. Splendid. Once we're all in the tower, we'll proceed to the auction house. Shouldn't see any guards inside. If we do, with that Geralt in his blaze. Then, downstairs to the vault. Casimir blows the vault door. We go in, take the loot, disappear out the back through a secret passage. I've said my piece. Any questions? 
All good and fine, except what if something goes wrong? Seriously, you're on your own. We all are. Just like that? No room for friendship in this business. Additional security measures, traps. Any inside? Anything we need to watch out for? Nothing particularly dangerous. Here on the ground floor, there's a rope linked to the bell in the tower. Anyone sounds the alarm, it'll be trouble. How do we stop it from ringing? Don't pull the rope. As I said, the auction house ought to be empty. I don't expect any problems. And the vault? Is it secured somehow? Even if it is, my blend of salt, peter, cordite, and fulminating silver will do the trick. Anything else? Got a horse sense take on this. Secret passage. If we plan to use it on the way out, why not on the way in? Excellent question. Why not? Every corridor has two ends, right? Like a rope. I know the location of just one end. It's in the vault. The other, it's somewhere beneath the city. But I can't tell you where. <laughs> Great. Aye, but you could... Find that location. I wouldn't need any of you. Believe you me, I've tried. Time and again. Anything else? All right, let's get to work. I want to be done with this as soon as possible. We'll reconvene in the gateway beside the tower. Midnight sharp. And everyone's to make sure they're not followed. I'll get word to the cook in the barracks. What about Mars? It's got a rather recognizable mug myself. I'll tend to that. Ah, one last thing. Inform the City Watch. Blabber anything about this over a nail. And I'll kill you. With me own hand. If you're so damn scared somebody will talk, let's all go there together, now. Any objections? Anyone need more time? On our way, then. Let's begin. Prime. Just one patrol. Mixture of yours must have worked. Have a line. You ready? Are you kidding? Of course I am. Three, two, one. City foul, shite all over again. Hot, hot scum. Patrol's turning round. We've one minute. Move. Bugger all, you said there'd be no one inside. Seems my informer was wrong. Is that all you've got to say? I nearly broke my neck. You knew what you were signing up for. This is no time to argue. Not the time, true. But we'll discuss this later. You can be sure of that. At your service, mate. One guard could mean many more. You'd best draw your sword now. No. 
What now? No one dies. Said so from the start. Whatever. Don your masks and let's go. For now, knock on wood. Good. Eyes in the back of your heads, everyone. Mine are open. Yes, but we shall raise the starting. Pr Watch this. Guards! Guards! Well, that's that. We're buggered. You said. I damn well know what I said. At them before they sound the alarm. Smash it! <laughs> <laughs> Lock themselves in. Bollocks! Damn it. Lay down your arms! You have no chance! Perhaps not. <laughs> but we do have hostages. Mercy, Master! On the count of three, we go in! One! Two! <laughs> Come one step closer and folk will die! Hold now! We must negotiate. What are your demands? To release the hostages? Buy us a bit of time, Geralt. We have one demand. Pull back from the auction house. You know I cannot do that! You can. Just not sure you want to. How about I help you decide? Kill a hostage. Just do what they want! I beg you! <laughs> Calm yourself. No one is to be harmed, clear? Nothing simpler. So long as you take your boys and pull out, we'll all live happily ever after. I repeat, that is not an option. We must bargain, reach an agreement. So we want a wagon. And horses. It's the middle of the night. Where am I to find a wagon? Rather go looking for caskets? <laughs> he means it! Good point. A wagon, then? What kind? Radovid's coronation carriage. Nothing less. Drawn by two Snow White mares. Do you think the situation is jest? Do you? <laughs> no! You're both right! This is no jest! I want us to reach an agreement. I don't want anyone to get hurt. But you must not ask the impossible! Second time you're turning me down. Shit negotiation tactic. It seems negotiation's not my strong suit. Nor is it yours! Attack! Oops. Tip the scales.
Damn it, explosion triggered that fight. Could have done without both. That explosion gets us in the vault. Where's Evelyn? Ah, she's fled. All the better. Fewer hands reaching out for loot. Come on before reinforcements arrive. A mighty fine whoop that was. A wee bit loud, aye, on account I had to add more fulminating silver than usual, but... Uh... I'm not interested. No one's interested. We go in. Geralt, you're at the fore. Why me? It's why I hired you. Now move, with no time. Same paintings were on the block. You don't know who you're fucking with. On the contrary, I know all too well. Yule? Greetings, brother. Been years. Stone me stupid and slap me happy! Think you owe us an explanation, Ewald Borsodi. This family reunion. What's the point? Revenge. For betrayal. Years of poverty. Humiliation. Father left the auction house to me in his will. Horst cheated me, had me disinherited. Anything, everything we earned, you squandered on cards and whores. Father didn't see that, I did. That's no excuse, Horst. And it won't save your life. You two, stand with me. I'll not let the Redanians lay a hand on you, give you whatever you want. Generous offer, Horst. Believe I'll take it. What? How dare you? Hate to be taken for a ride. Said that from the start. Should have treated it seriously. Even your accomplices have turned against you. But not I. A brother once, a brother always. I'm prepared to forgive you. Is that so? On one condition. That you acknowledge me as head of the family and bow before me. I might have fallen prey had I not known, but I do you all. The bad shilling that always turned up.
Bathe and dress him for the funeral. Something presentable. I'll not have him bring me more shame. At last. How I despise unfinished business. What do you say we talk about my reward? As I said, take whatever you please. And as I said... Of course. The Witcher. I want Max Borsodi's house. Whatever it is. You fail to understand. Scrolls, documents, the will in there. None of this can land in Olgierd's hands. Not for any price. Any? You sure? Yes, Witcher. I'd sooner die than let you have those papers. Be happy to help you join your brother. Kill the Witcher! You'll never learn. Seeping through the cracks. Passage must be here. Now how do I open it? Nick of time. Now to get out of here.
spreads disease, defeatism and desertion. Witcher. Something tells me I'll finally get something interesting to do. Sure doesn't look like you're short on work. So, this. A Redanian army order. But there's no pleasure in it. One after the other, same thing time and again. No finesse required. Looking to perfect your craft? Of course. Crafting's like plowing a maid. Fall into a rut and... Well, sure, you'll get the job done, but there'll be no hoops, no hollers, no standard ovation. So, got any special requests for me? Help me stay on form. Still talking about armor, aren't we? Aye. What else would it be? You're in luck. I actually do have a special order for you. Oh, that's fantastic. Mark my words, you'll be satisfied. So long. Honor in the fatherland. One drink of all I had. How much for a herring? Crown a piece. Need to chat. I'm all ears, Witcher. Got something for you. I love gifts, but I prefer to unwrap them in private. Oi, lads, mind the barrels. I'm going out for a jabber with Geralt. Come. Oh, that's better. All right, what do you have for me? Max Persodi's house, as requested. He's not. No? He's not anything except dead. His brother, same thing. A few others, too. Stones you've got. But I didn't think you'd have a stomach for a massacre. Situation got out of hand. <laughs> oh, sounds familiar. There you are, drinking, puffing on headbed, and then, surprise, heads rolling across the floor. And none know how or why. I'm not amused. No. Why not? Because unlike you, killing gives me no pleasure. The boss soldiers aren't worth your tears. Sons of bitches to a man. Why did you need those papers? To sink the boss soldiers, naturally. You see, I learned of an interesting clause in old man Maximilian's will. It states that his sons must meet and shake hands in agreement at least once a year at Bellatane. Failing that, the auction house must be auctioned off. The proceeds to go to Bill Maria's hospital. Guess the old man sensed what might happen. Horst and Yule are gnawing on soil now. But thanks to these papers, their relatives won't get the auction house. Families lost it for good. And the hospital will have the funds it needs to treat orphans and beggars pro bono. Awfully noble of you, showing so much concern for the needy. I couldn't give a rat's ass about the needy. May they wither and disappear along with the city. I wanted one thing. Revenge. Why did you need the... To sick? You see, it's... Guess the old... Horse. Off. I could... I wanted... The Borsodis. What's your gripe? Get kicked out of an auction? Worse. They evicted me from my home. Are you really interested? Wouldn't have asked if I wasn't. Ha! <laughs> Cheeky as ever. My family. They took on some debt. 
A poor investment in a soul. A bad crop one year. A lawsuit lost. You know how it is. When it rains, it pours. We needed it but a few weeks to recover. But Horst Borsodi had acquired our debt. All of it. Demanded it be repaid immediately. I pleaded. I begged. I tore open my shirt at his threshold. Ugh. It was like talking to a wall. I went to the auction. Saw those perfumed pricks by my father's soul. My mother's death mask. My brother's horse tack. Ah, horse turned a pretty pile selling our mementos. No surprise the animosity you feel for him. That was but the start. My Iris's parents learned of my family's misfortune. And our betrothal was no more. They found her another suitor. One from beyond the sea. The anger I felt. I thought I'd gone mad. Went to the tavern, drank around, a second, a broad, then had another tankard. And then, then, I asked the wrong bloke for help. What happened then? Ah, what happened then, Witcher, was one big stinking pile of shite. Well, why do you stand there? Do you need something still? Third wish. Time you stated it. A moment, Geralt. I will say to something. Then we'll chat. You there. Yank the herring out the barrel. This dallying. Oh, oh, oh. Now, ready to listen? Or do you still not give two shites about what I've got to say? I'm ready. I'm listening. Good. You'll return to your lord and tell him as follows. His demand was brazen. Hurt me to the core. For I was brought up to respect the sacred law of hospitality. And I shall not bend to an uncouth boar's dictum. Understood? I will pay him a visit shortly to test his willingness to adapt. So you ride off and announce me. And don't spare your horse. Got it? Aye, oh, got it. <laughs> Give this man a mount and leave him go. Come with you. We must talk outside. The Afiri believe one should only discuss important matters out of doors with the gods as witnesses. Fulfilled two of your wishes. Time I learned the third. Confident, aren't you? Proud, sure of your strengths. Fearless. Third task, if you don't mind. Mutations, they stripped you of emotion. Tell me, have you ever loved? I mean, truly loved. In no mood for a heart to heart. I'm to do something for you. Tell me what it is. A true professional, eh? Know what I think? I think you only feign the cold killer. When in fact you seek new and ever stronger sensations. As I do. Seek to prove to yourself that you are still able to feel. That some remnant of humanity remains within you. I'd make a right good witcher. Problem is, I don't know the road to care more. And I doubt you'd give me a pendant. Cut the shit, old beard. Third wish. Still waiting to hear it. Aye, aren't you stubborn? Fine. Listen well. I had a wife once. The day I saw her last, I gave her a rose. A violet one. 
Bring me that bloom. Wouldn't mind reminding myself what it looks like. <sighs> when was that? How long's it been? Flowers wilted and turned to dust by now. You wished to hear a wish. Now you have. Fulfill it. I ride now to visit this Dormus, but one of my men will remain here. He'll know how to find me. That is, of course, should you succeed. At least you could tell me where your wife is. In my old manor, east of Martin Foy's farmstead. I'd wish you God speed, but, well, you understand, I'm sure. Goodbye, Geralt. <laughs>